Mm. Ooh, welcome back, everybody. How are we all? Hope you had an amazing Christmas. We are back here on Silver Run. So what I've been doing is I've been working my way through into this area. As you can see, I've left these sort of trees and the dead wood. I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do with those yet. And maybe get a wood chipper going. I'm not sure. I might just get rid of them, just completely mulch them. But we've got some piles of logs scattered around in here. So we're going to have to try and remember where I was and go around and pick them up and take them up to the north sawmill the old sawmill should i say because i want to start loading that up and then hopefully cheekily buy it with lots of wood in there um there was a long big spruce here which i couldn't cut with a harvester which we've had before so i had to chop that down with a chainsaw but first of all before we do that I'm going to swap out some equipment. Now, the problem we had, I don't think it's that truck. I think it's that trailer. But I want to keep that trailer just for now because it's going to be handy. It's at the right length for us to be selling 9 meter logs because that is obviously, the well, technically the best price that we're going to get selling them. Once we've bought that sawmill, I'm not fussed what length goes in there because obviously we will not keep be getting paid for them it would just be going into the production like so so i'm not fussed about the nine meter log lengths um this truck i'm in two minds whether to keep it at the minute but i think we will probably get rid of it because i've got an idea so let's jump in bit of a shame I do like this truck we may get it again in the future I don't know let's just check the train isn't coming we're gonna get rid of it and we're gonna get something else that I think is gonna pull that trailer and I think it's gonna be pretty good going further down the line in terms of picking up pallets with production some of you may already know where I'm going with this right let's repair it and we'll repaint it because you do get a little bit of money back on that so we have lost a little bit um just over three grand i think it was 30 grand wasn't it for that but that brings a little bit more money back in so right what i'm going to do and what i'm going to purchase is if we go into here i'm going to go for the tlx 2020 now Hopefully none of you are telling me no or shouting no at the screen, but I'm going to buy it because it will pull that trailer if we get the gooseneck um, flatbed thingamajiggy, which we'll come across in a second. But what I'm thinking, actually, let's get this set up and then I'll tell you what I'm thinking. So we want the big juicy horsepower. It is going to cost us another nine and a half grand. We are going to go with dual wheels because I think it's better for a bit of stability I've tried this on just the singles and it can get a little bit um, wobbly especially if you've got a heavy load uh, not too fast what have we got here basics sport high performance off road Ooh, off road might be interesting because we will be going up through into the forest that will do, that will work. I'm not too fussed about other things. Uh, we'll keep that main colour. Not going to bother with vinyls. Extras, what was that? That was the steps. I think it goes the ball bar. Quite liking the black. So we'll go for the black extras. Lighting. I don't think we need lighting. If we are working in the evening, I'm hoping the headlights will be enough and we'll have lights on other things. We can always put these things back on. Kits. Uh, mm, that's off-road. That goes with what we've got, really. What do you think? Do you think we should go with that? 
Um, oh yeah, I suppose it looks a bit beefy, doesn't it? Um, what is that? Cab lights. Oh, that's on the top. No, I don't want them. Windows tint. I'm not interested in that. Mirrors. That changes them to the bigger ones. Not interested in that. Attaches. Not interested in a plow. Um, color. I think we'll keep it as it is because I do like the old red and white colors of my favorite football team. We'll go as the chrome. We'll go chrome. We better have a license plate on there. We do not want to be getting done by the police. So we'll keep it like that. We'll go front and back. I do like to have the jet black on there though. Okay, bye. Now that is going to cost us almost 50 grand. But... Like I say, I think it will be worth it in the long run. Now, if I click combinations, I know most of you guys will know this. What I'm thinking of further down the line is this box it trailer because that will hold all the platinum expansion production pallets now. Obviously, it will only do one at a time, but I think it's going to be great. We'll just pull up alongside them, even the metal, and it'll just load it in there. Lazy, I know, and it's going to be quite cheap. The good thing is, is we should be able to hook up a, another one, which will be this guy, which then would mean we'll be able to carry two separate production pallets, one in the front cab, one in this. So happy days. We will go down that route by for now. I'm going to go with the flatbed. I'm not interested in this guy because I don't think it's going to be any use to us. But if you look in the middle there, we've got the gooseneck attacher. So that will hook up to that trailer we've already got. We'll keep it on the diamond plate. Not interested in passengers. Um, not really interested in... Actually, the lights might come in handy. Yeah, we'll go with them. And we'll keep it that colour. I think that's the same as our pickup is it i don't know we can always change it we will buy that that's another three thousand seven hundred pounds or dollars should i say and there we are right why has that not got a oh i don't know actually i think it's because we've got a bumper on there i was looking for the license plate or number plate right let's hook up to that this looks pretty cool actually with the writing on the tyres. So in theory this should hook up to this. Um, tell you what, if we lined up properly it would help. <laughs> there we go. So that doesn't look too bad. Or does it? I know it looks a bit a bit extreme probably the trailer compared to the truck but I'm thinking this is going to be good it's got some good pulling power as well so let's jump out and we'll grab the wheel loader and now it's going to be a case of picking these up I want to get all of this loaded up and taken up to the sawmill before the close of play today Now I'm hoping, well actually I don't think we will, I don't think we'll get all these logs on this trailer. I mean this is another thing with this trailer, it's not going to hold a lot because that hasn't got very high sides. But at the minute it's perfect for what we want to be doing and that is selling logs at this length. So that isn't very good is it? Can we just push that? Come on. Right, I might have to grab that one. Or can we just nudge it? Come on, why are you playing like that? Be nice. That'll do. 
maybe if I bash that, it's going to work. There we go, that's, that's better. Something like that. <laughs> he says, right, let's get a few of these loaded up. Like I say, I don't think these are all going to fit on here, but if we have to do a few loads, so be it. That's fine with me. I think we've probably got enough here to get that sawmill going. I'm not 100% sure what it pumps out, actually. I can't remember. From my um, map tour. I know we've got some really nice lengths over here. So let's grab a few of these, get the deer running out of the way. Right, what can we pick up? It's definitely helped having this weight on the back. I mean, that is quite a significant amount there we've just picked up. trying to do is go around this side if I can it's gonna get a little bit tricky I think isn't it do for now anyway let's grab a few more I'm going to try and fit as many as we can on here got another couple of decent bits here I did manage to try and drag a few of them out into sort of the open areas but there is a couple here and there that look a little bit hidden so we should be able to grab these all of these together I'm hoping got some decent sizes there let's see if we can put them on top nope that's not what I wanted to do that's what I want to do as low as we can whoa that's a bit too much for that isn't it right and we should be able to drive like that I'm gonna have to sort that out when we get over there as for the tree stumps if I can see them oh what have we hit there possibly a tree stump I will remove them here and there we get some sort of chipper right are we going to get all those in hopefully we will right we'll grab a couple more hopefully we can squeeze them in on the sides I mean, it, this part here, if I go up into landscaping mode, this bit here, I haven't even touched any trees here, so it's a little bit sparse, a little bit open anyway. So, I don't know what to do. I don't know if to... I know we've only just put the shed up at the farm area. <laughs> I was thinking maybe we should have some sort of bigger yard down here going to be a lot easier than trying to go up the hill all the time so yeah probably 
bit of a waste putting the um, shed up there. Probably didn't think of that. Right, I don't want to put too much on here because we're going to end up having some sort of incident, aren't we? Which I know does tend to happen when I'm doing a login. Right, let's see if we can get a strap around that. Hopefully, yes. Right. Um, we might have to put... Let's turn this truck around. We might have to put the same... Yeah, look, that's sliding out again. I think we, we definitely will get rid of this trailer at some point, but... I'm just thinking we might have a little bit too much on here now, weight-wise. <laughs> See it sliding. It does eventually stop, but it is a little bit um, random that it does that. What else have we got? There's a few more here. Let's put these on that side. These are a little bit chunky though. This could be too much, I think, for the truck. It's going to be a test, isn't it? it certainly is going to be a test. I just hope it does not flip on its side. That will be the worst case scenario. Right. So let's try and angle them down like that. And we'll try and grab a strap on there. Go. that hopefully has evened that out but like I say that is quite a lot on there maybe too much for the truck and there it goes sliding out right <laughs> let's go up to the sawmill let's just check there's no train coming now I do need to be very very careful because if this tips we are in trouble but it's pulling it very well I don't think it looks too odd it's you know it's meant to pull a gooseneck oh 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 I'm gonna just pull over here because another tip from you guys See that slid round then, look, you can see where the tyre marks were and it slid round but it stopped. Very odd. In here, in the park, I've been told there is a collectible. Whereabouts, I don't know. I thought it would be in the bin. My guess is probably it's up in this bandstand. No, let's have a look up here first. No. Over here. Oh! What's that? There we go. Look at that. It's a deer, isn't it? You found the deer. Awesome. Awesome. Happy days. Right, we should go straight to the truck. Another 50 grand in our back pocket. Fourteen to go. I've forgotten how many we've actually collected already. I'll have a look in a second. Just need to be careful with this. 
so far so good just need to be careful with the steering because where I haven't got a wheel and you're using the joystick the joy pad if you're not careful you can be a little bit too snappy with the steering and that isn't going to help with a full load like this on the back right um, this turn in here happy days the trains just gone past so we should be absolutely fine there now we need to back into the pond close that would have been annoyed wouldn't it literally got to our destination and then that happens right I'll we'll stop there I think let's get rid of all them straps some probably will fall in the water right what we're gonna make for this load hopefully decent amount probably 20 something grand maybe more hopefully Ooh, 33 and there's still some on there I don't know why it does that 33 grand happy days and another six you probably got about 40 grand there guys I think awesome right so far so good with the truck happy with that let me know your thoughts on that guys if you approve did get a couple of suggestions for things here and there which is awesome I do like suggestions I do obviously listen to them but I need to take into account what I've got in my head moving forward and whether they're going to work for us or not because obviously there's loads and loads of mods out there look I'm not quite aware of and how they work so any suggestions is awesome right what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to get some more loaded up onto this trailer bring them back up to the sawmill and I think we will buy the sawmill right <laughs> time is getting on I had to cut a few more logs down or trees just to build this trailer up but I've got a decent amount again so let's just get some lights on can we spin around we might have to go a bit off-road that's why we chose these tires oh there's a rock there that's not going there should be able to cut through here there we go Right, it seems a little bit more... <laughs> I was just about to say it seems a little bit more wobbly the... wobblier, sorry, than the first load. Ah, oh, brilliant. Right, bear with me. Right, good old forklift. Come and handy again. Yeah, I've readjusted these straps because it didn't seem to like it. It was going a bit nuts, but I think we've solved the problem. Just need to be careful, like I said earlier, about snapping the steering. So we get this loaded up. We're by the sawmill. I mean with this load it's going to put us over 300 grand the sawmill I think was 250 which is obviously going to take a big chunk out of us but we need it it's what's required to grab the planks the log planks I know we can buy them down at the southern sawmill which if we have to we will do every now and then but at the minute I'd rather be producing things and 
I think we are going to start making serious money soon. I mean, we're doing well. This is very well. Right, be careful of this bit. I was a bit wary after last time. Seems pretty good. Let's get that round. A little bit of a shame, really, about that trailer because I know it's not a major thing. It just slides around a little bit and then it stops, but it's a pretty good trailer apart from that. Right, are we going to have the same problem with some logs being suspended? So I'm hoping... Well, I don't think we've got as many thick logs on this load. No, look, same again. There we go. So 20 and a half grand there. That's not too bad because, like I say, I think we had a few... A few smaller, thinner bits there. And eight there, just over. So, not too bad. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Lit up under the water. Smart. Right, let's stop there. Oh, here we go. Big chunk of money coming up. We're going to buy it. I know we could fill it up a lot more. We could keep earning money, but let's get this show on the road, shall we? So, that's not bad. 62 thousand litres just over so I'm probably guessing that holds around a hundred thousand litres looking at that and oh planks along planks wood beans and prefab walls I don't think we need the prefab walls for the roller coaster yet but we will get them going because I'm pretty sure they are worth pretty good money so we might as well get everything going uh, prefab walls yeah look at that elm creek 10 grand and that is right up there we do have a couple of places where we can oh we can still go to i'm uh, guessing they probably are required at the roller coaster at some stage let's just have a quick jump down there but not in this stage look or step should i say but we do need wood beams planks long planks metal's okay we've got a bit of that in storage there staircase railings oh that's another thing shall we have a quick jump over and check have we got anything we haven't got anything yet so that's okay right what i think we'll do is i'm going to head back down to the farm we will sleep through the night hopefully we will have some productions ready and maybe then we can buy the box it trailer thingy majiggy probably going to leave the machinery down here I know it's a bit lazy but there's no point keep bringing it up here all the time at the end of the day which is why I was on about maybe we should have built a bit more of a bigger yard down the bottom but I think what we will do in some of that area that we've been clearing there is replant some trees so we can go again. I know there's absolutely loads on this map. But until we make serious, serious money where we can buy other plots, because let's just take... I, well, I mean, what I really would like to do is buy this plot here. That is, that's not too bad actually, 142 grand. That is definitely affordable. Because so I'm thinking we maybe set up a yarder across this pond where we sell things, cut a few trees down, we'll send them across and just drop them in the pond. That would be easy, easy pickings, wouldn't it? Anyway, it's getting very dark. Let's skip on and see what happens. Right, here we go. So let's, for starters, just jump around all our productions and see what's going on. I think we will start straight down here at the, um, not there, that. Because, well, there's the, oh my goodness. 
Look how much metal we've got. We've still got 51,000 in there. And we've also still got some in this trailer. Now, obviously, at the minute, we don't have a truck, but that is absolutely fine. So I'm guessing up here is going to be quite a substantial amount as well. Yes, but that's fine. We can just keep grabbing that as and when. Let's visit the sawmill. Um... Now, where does the... Oh, over there by the look of it. I was just thinking, I don't even know where things spawn. Here we go. Look at this already. Two prefab walls. What are these? These are wood beams. Two of those. These must be planks. They're the long planks. Four of those. And these must be the... This is mad. Look how much... What's that? Five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Thanks. Have we got any wood left in there? That produces a ridiculous amount of rate, doesn't it? That is good though for us. We have indeed. So we've still got some decent things in there. We've, look at the wood. We've still got the wood turner. This is good. I think obviously the sawmill here is going to be the one we're going to have to keep our eye on the most because that seems to be pumping out pretty quickly we have a few things here one of each so we've got staircase railings obviously you can't pick these up happy days right let's grab our truck um we're, we're, bleh, spit my words out we'll take this back down because we will be getting some more logs eventually. But I'm pretty impressed with this setup. I think this is more convenient for us at the minute. So let's put this trailer just here for now. Is it that one? Yes, I think we will place that next to it it's kind of like undressing the truck isn't it and then we will go into here and I'll tell you what it'd be easier if we just go on to the TLX again and do combinations we'll grab one of these and um, again I'm not worried about vinyls we'll keep it like that we're going to go unreal I'm not sure we will be because that only holds 7,000 I don't think we'll well will we ever be at the point where we've got 82,000 litres or something in the back I don't know well that is 15 grand though but we will do it we will go for it and um, I well should we keep it white or should we go red match our truck I'm not sure what red it is actually I think it is probably that um, or should we just go white ah, we'll just go white and we'll buy that I don't think we need to lease it and let's grab one of these how much is this going to cost us uh, wheels I've got continental basic sport well we definitely don't want sport do we basics we could have jewels on there jewels might be worth it again um so we'll go for that doesn't cost anything else vinyls not interested in capacity again we'll go unreal wow that's another 15 Ooh. We'll keep it all like that. Is chrome going to cost us anything? No. Awesome. Buy that. Pretty much the same price. There we go. Happy days. Right, and we'll head up to the sawmill. And we will grab a couple of those products. I don't think it looks too bad. Maybe it would have looked a bit better with red.
but we could always change it and see what happens. Right, I'm hoping this is going to be all right as well for steering. Having the jewels on the rear one should be okay. We've got jewels on the front just for that extra little bit of stability. Do a bit of overtaking. They got scared, slammed on their brakes. Definitely a lot quicker than the truck as well. Um, I think there's a turn in here. Yes, there is. Right, what are we going to grab first? Um, let's grab... Let's get both these doors open. I don't know. We'll grab the planks, I think, and then the long planks. Um, why is that loading both of them? That's a bit weird. Why is it doing that? Right, what happens if we... Oh! Oh no, don't get stuck now. Oh, there we go. I have no idea which one's in what, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> as long as we've got one of each. I think the long planks are in the rear one. Right, so at least we've got... And those doors will open and close a little with that on the back, that's good. At least we've got two items on board. If we had any other auto load piece of equipment, it would have been just one thing, I think. So that's pretty good, we can do that. So we've got 8,000 of I think that's the planks isn't it yes because we had eight of those there's yes, a thousand and four of those goodness me right let's get a little bit better with the steering wonder how many um, pallets of metal we've actually got down there so I'm imagining that spawn point is probably full up and there's more to come I would imagine right let's let's just jump out what are the requirements so we've got more than we need but I'm hoping it will put it into the storage like it has up there because we've used up all the metal so that should store it for the next step um, why did that just go down? I don't know. Oh, it's got rid of the metal off the list. That's good. So we will might as well just do this then, and we should get paid for all this as well. There we go. Everything gone. Thirty-one grand, guys. As you can see up the top we've got planks and long planks and that will go down gradually and decrease our little shopping list. <laughs> this is brilliant, I'm loving it. What a little setup. I was kind of thinking of this the other day because when I was trying to sort out and solve the problem of the truck and that log trailer I thought to myself well it seems to be that trailer I don't think it's the truck the trailer is moving I tried the trailer on my test map with um, other trucks and it was still sliding around I even tried different wheel configurations sorry pal because we've got the three on the back, three axle, tri axle. So I just tried the dual ones in different configurations. It was still sliding around, maybe not as bad. Wow, look, we've got another pallet there. 
seriously okay well we'll leave that we'll just grab these ones now so we've got the prefabs and the wood beams Oh, honestly, I'm so glad that I went down this route. I don't mean this road, but <laughs> going, getting this set up. How cool is this? I mean, yes, I know we could have got a flatbed. We could have loaded up everything onto a flatbed and just brought it down. But then we're going to need some sort of wheel loader front loader that's probably oh, going to need to be permanently up at the sawmill which isn't a problem that is something we can do but this isn't taking too long is it this TLX is pretty quick oh, we're doing 70 mile an hour now 74 we are cooking on gas I mean, what is going to be the next sort of thing for us to go for? We do need the flooring factory for this stage, so I think we need to look at buying that soon, which hopefully won't be very far off. Right. So I think we've put everything in there, bar the floor tiles. We could go and grab a staircase railing, couldn't we? In fact, what I might do is... Um, let's have a look at the metal. Because we, we could go to the boatyard. Elm Creek, look at the price for Elm Creek. Now, if we do Elm Creek, we've got to load it up to the train manually boatyard is pretty good price if I'm honest and we are going to need some when we do eventually buy the boatyard still going to pay us and it should put it into storage kind of thinking we might do that actually shall we let's have a look We'll see what happens. Right, train's just gone past. Let's get these doors open. I mean, to be fair, that probably... That is almost a grand difference, isn't it? Hmm. Well, we're loading up now anyway. That's freaking out. I probably could have got away with that in one, actually. I don't know why I opened both of those. Um, does this have... Let's put that on. Does it have an unload? It does. So what happens when we unload? Let's have a quick look. Right. Okay. Um... It's going to do that. That's probably going to make it a bit messy, isn't it, for the for the train? But we're not going to get that on there like that. Have we got any more coming out? Oh, we haven't. That's a bit of a shame. No, we haven't. Oh, well, right, let's turn that off, for starters. I think we'll leave... Let's shut that up. And we'll leave that one here for now. We'll take this over the boatyard for now. I mean, we're, we're going to get lots and lots of metal. I'm just not feeling the whole loading up the train process 
we did that a couple of episodes ago so let's see what happens when we do this getting paid for that got 16 and a half grand right this might not take anymore if that's yeah I think we've we've probably le uh, reached the storage limit there okay that's fine so where's the next best price for that um, it is the roller coaster. No, it isn't. Yes, it is the roller coaster. We'll just drop it off there because I think we're going to need metal for every stage by the look of it on the roller coaster. And I think we'll run over to the wood turners. Oh, no capacity for metal. Okie doke. Um, <laughs> running out of places to sell it. No one wants our metal. Let's just nip into Silver Run Market. That is literally there. I know that's probably the worst price, but I don't care. We seem to be making an absolute fortune here. Um, I would guess it's the next selling zone, yeah. It's going to be for pallets and things, isn't it? There we go, money's going up. Wow, 24 grand. I mean, yes, we could have made an absolute fortune, I think, via the train, but that is pretty good. Right, let's, let's go and grab staircase railing. I mean, look at the way we're nipping around town doing this. This is pretty awesome, right, that is right on the end, so let's open those doors up, just back up enough to get that, there we go, and then we'll drop that off at the roller coaster, and I think we'll grab that trailer again, and we'll sell those two uh, what was it, the pepper grinder and the bowls, we'll sell them while we're at it let's just sell everything guys so there we go we've got enough in there no we haven't quite, that's ok so yeah, everything's stored in there so far. Do you need to get that floor and factory up and running? Um, how much was that? Let's go and have a quick look. Um, I think it's this one, isn't it? There we go, flooring fantasies. That sounds um, 110 grand. Um, let's buy it. Let's buy it. <laughs> it's just going crazy. So we need either long planks or planks. That's good because we are producing them as we speak. Um, where are we? Right, oh yeah, I need to grab this guy. In fact, we're going to have a change of plan, people. We are going to head on up to the sawmill. And we'll grab what we've got. No, oh, no, because that wasn't... Did we have planks up there, or was it wood beams? Oh, well, let's go and check. Let's go and check. Right, what have we got? Yes, it is planks and long planks, I think. 
Can we get close enough for that? Yes, we can. Shut those doors up. Open those doors. Oh, that's for some reason was going in there. And we'll grab them. Right, let's head back down to the flooring factory, our new purchase. And I think we will call it there for this episode. Let's just get out of everyone's way because we are a lot faster than them. Oh, I'm absolutely loving this. Onwards and upwards. This is going to absolutely make us a fortune, I think, all of this. I think it's really good that you still do get paid with the roller coaster for bringing all the bits and bobs to it because I think that would be very, very hard otherwise to get everything going. I mean, I know you can make a ton doing forestry, but I still think it, or maybe is that why we're getting absolutely loads of money. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm enjoying it. Um, oh, just needed to go a bit further. Happy days, right, let's shut our doors up on our fantastic pieces of equipment. Let's go into here. Yes, obviously we haven't got a lot, but we will get, if we've got one of each, we might as well get it going. Might produce something. But there you go. I think we'll leave it there for that episode, guys. I won't bother selling the pepper grinder and the bowls. We'll leave that for a second. Let's just have a quick look at the prices, though, while we're there. Um, pepper grinder. What are we looking at? About two, three. Ooh, Sunnyside Cafe. Hang on a second. Hold up. Um, not that way, this way. Where's the bowls gone? There's the bowls. Looking at three, three, five, seven. Three, five. Well, Sunnyside Calf. I know for a fact that that is just literally across the road. I think it's that one. Yes. Right. We can't. We can't leave that, guys. Let's. Let's, um go and explore the possibilities <laughs> I don't know what that means that's not what I wanted to say let's go and sell some goods check out the Sunnyside Cafe it is still technically breakfast time I may finish the episode and go in there for a nice full English if they do that right here we go let's get these doors open again bit overkill for two little pallets but there we go shut the doors up safety and I'm pretty sure this turning here if I remember rightly because this sign sunny Best breakfast, best morning. Happy days. We're going for a breakfast. And there is our little zone. Are we going to get all of that in? That is selling. Three. Th oh, awesome. There we go. We're going to finish the episode on $45,000. That is a pretty cool setup. I'm loving it. There you go. We are definitely going to leave it there now for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. Any thoughts, suggestions, send them my way. I really do appreciate it. Um, let me know what you think about this setup. Have I done the right thing? Seems to be working pretty well, though. But if you have enjoyed it, please hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. That would be fantastic. And don't forget to smash that bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.